You can format a dynamic report by editing the cell formatting of format definitions. You also have the ability to add new format definitions. These format definitions are specified within a format range. In this workbook, I have a dynamic report open. You'll notice that the A column is hidden. The format range for dynamic reports is located in the format label column, which is typically the A column. By default, the format label column is hidden in Microsoft Excel. So let's start by revealing the format label column. On the keyboard, I'm going to press Ctrl and A to select all of the cells. Then I'll click the Home tab in the top left corner. From the Home ribbon, in the Cells section, I'll click Format and hover my cursor over Hide and Unhide. And then I'll click Unhide Rows. I'll repeat these steps in Unhide Columns as well. As we can see, the A column is now revealed and we can see where the format range begins and where it ends. Let's take a closer look at the format range. Within a range are format definitions. Each format definition corresponds to the member level of a row in the dynamic report. In this report, there are format definitions for members level 0 to 5, leaf members, and a definition for default. When you generate a report, the format definitions are applied to the rows of the report. So if you look further down in the reports, we can see that there are leaf level members and level 0, 1, and 2 members. The default definition is applied to consolidated member levels outside of the defined range. In this case, if I had a level 6 member, its formatting would be defined by the default format definition. So how does this all work? If I wanted to format my level 0 members, I would edit the cell formatting for cells in the 0 format definition row and the same with level 1 and level 2. Which cells get formatted will depend on the format definition row and the column. So if I add a green background to a cell in the level 1 row in column C, the formatting will apply to cells in column C which are level 1. And that's an overview of formatting in dynamic reports. In another video, we'll go through the ways which you can modify formatting in your dynamic reports.